Hello. So I want to show you the demo of our brand new feature, recording a voiceover and auto syncing it with the entire script. So here I have uploaded a script and I've created a short video with it. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to add a record a voiceover. Now you can also upload a voiceover that you have already recorded. In this case, I'm recording it and I will record it for the whole script. So I'm recording it now. Now that you have recorded your webinar and even posted on YouTube and social, what now? How do you promote it to get even more views? One of the best material to promote your webinar is several short clips representing the highlights of your webinar. The short highlights can be sent by emails or shared over various social channels. So I stop recording and I apply it. So I don't, this one by default will only apply to the scene, but I will go now here under the audio tab, voiceover, my uploads, voiceover, and I see that this is applied to the whole scene. So I will remove it from this scene and I will apply it to the entire video. So you'll see this new button now to apply a voiceover to the entire video. You can also do it with an uploaded voiceover. So if you can upload a voiceover here, it'll show up right here after the upload is done. And then you say, I want to apply it to the entire video. So I just click that. Now it asks me whether your voiceover includes intro and outro. Uh, your video might have an intro and outro. So in this case, my uh, video does have an outro. So I said, but it, I don't include the voice, the intro and outro in the, in the voiceover. So now it's applying AI and it's doing the auto syncing. And now it's going to show me the preview to see it now. Now that you have recorded your webinar and even posted on YouTube and social, what now? How do you promote it to get even more views? One of the best material to promote your webinar is several short clips representing the highlights of your webinar. The short highlights can be sent by emails or shared over various social channels. I, um, this one looks good to me. I don't need to do any adjustment, but if I need to adjust it, I can go into this adjust voiceover and it shows me the various places where the, uh, where the voice was broken. So I can, so it can, I can play a scene one. Bring it now. Now that you have recorded, uh, I can say, okay, there was a little bit of a thing. I can actually uh, change that here. Uh, so now it's going to be better on scene one and go to scene two. I can play scene what two. now? How do you promote it? So there was a little bit of a uh, error in scene two. So I can move this here. Uh, and so I have this. How do you promote for it? For scene two, I can go back to scene one and adjust the end of scene one. So there's slight adjustments you can do very quickly here. And uh, and so now I have good good thing for scene one, good thing for scene two, slight adjustment at the end of scene two. Um, scene three looks good. You can actually see the the scene transitions because there'll be a little bit of a gap when I, when I was uh, speaking uh, the next sentence, before I was speaking the next sentence. And there you have it. I have four scenes now. Uh, with the voiceover synchronized and uh, and I can preview the whole video or I can generate the whole video.